Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. And today we are going to learn how to implement Android Lisei Coraview. In our Lisei Coraview, we are going to have card view, image, the name of the image, and the description of that image. We are also going to add on click listener, which when you click any item within the Lisei Coraview, a new activity will open, display the image, and the name of the clicked item. I have also added a search for instance if i search apple and i click and your activity opens displays the image and the name we can try to search for another item for instance banana when i click banana it's saying click item has no actions so if you can see from my main activity i'm opening a different activity depending on the click item if you click apple i'm opening item one activity if you click orange, I'm opening item 2, activity. So for the list, I'm just toasting a message and saying click item has no action. So you can add the rest. Let me know in the comment if you are if you succeed adding a, opening a new activity if you click the list of the items. So this tutorial is purely on Kotlin. If you'd like me to do one using Java, you can comment below. So I've divided it into four parts, as you can see. So we have uh, our Android Lisecora view with search filter and on click listener. So the first part we are going to create Lisecora view that has image, text, and description. So here we are only going to add Lisecora view to activity, add card view library, and even create the library. Then in our part two, it's where we are going to create the adapter for Lisecora view. As you know, adapter links the data source to our recycle view. We are also going now to display the recycle view. Part three, we are going to add on click listener to our recycle view. And finally, part four is where we are going to do the search or filter in our recycle view. So let's get started. I have a new project that we are going to use. So let's close this one. I hope you, can, you have seen the demo. So, for instance, if I click banana, no item, oranges, kiwi, but oranges has. So, guys, try to add on click listener for the, the last three items. So, I'm going to close this one and even this one too, and learn our new our new project. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is to add our Lisecora view. So our Lisecora view is not added to the design, so I'm going to add it to the design. So search for Lisecora view, add to design. So as you can see, the adding it's adding components. So once that is done, I'm also going to add card view. So once those two are added, let's remove the card view and even this recycle view so that I can arrange the layout correctly. So I'm going to change from constraint to linear layout. I'm going to give it orientation to be vertical. I'm also going to give it a margin of five. So I'm going to have my recycle view here. I'm going to match parent. I'm going to lab content. And even I'm going to give it ID of the Sycora view. So once I have added my Sycora view, let's give it a small margin of 2 dp. I'm going to create another route that is going to hold our Sycora view items. So I'm going to call it your items. And within low items, I'm going to change this one to card view. My card view, I'm going to give it a start of 8 dp. I'm also going to give it a top of 8 dp. 
and finally I'm going to give it n of 8b pin. Then within it I'm going to have a linear layout. I'm going to match palette, I'm going to lab content, orientation, I'm going to have horizontal. Then I'm going to have my image view. This is the image view that is going to demonstrate or to, to, to allow us to present our image. So I'm going to have the image view of size 70 dp width and height. Then I'm going to give it ID and I'm going to say image view. And I'm going to close that one. And finally, I'm going to have another linear layout here. I'm going to match palette. I'm going to lab content. I'm going to have a start margin of it. And the orientation, I'm going to give it is vertical. So within it, I'm going to have two text view. So I'm going to lab content. I'm going to lab content. The ID here is TV name. And I'm going to give it a size of 16. Color, I'm going to give it black. And below it, I'm going to have another text view. Lab content, lab content. I'm going also to give it a color of black. And the ID is TV description. And I'm going to close that one. Let's give it a top margin of two. So let's give a placeholder. This is description. And this is name. So I'm going to have text. This is name. And then I can have a placeholder for the image. So I can have source as a launch element. So we have that one. Let's learn our activity and see what we have now. We are not expecting to display anything since we have not added adapter which is going to link our data source. But for now, you see. So the Grado is building. So it's launching up the activity in the area. So as you can see, it's an empty recycle running. So that's what you are supposed to do for the part one. The next thing I'm going to create is part two. And here I'm going to create adapter. We're going to add our images and finally display the images in part two. So guys, stay tuned for the next part. Thank you for watching part one of the tutorial.